When I first started learning about whole animal butchery, I learned a principle about meat that has just kind of stuck in my brain. An animal that got to run around in a field with its buddies is going to have much more flavor than an animal that was confined to an indoor pen its entire life. The result on the plate is the most luxurious and beautiful piece of meat you'll ever have in your life. I'm Christina Glenoga. I am a whole animal butcher in Seattle, Washington, working exclusively with nice animals from the Pacific Northwest. It's not super common that I find another woman of color or even any other women doing whole animal butchery or working with small farms because it's so unexpected as a butcher. I used to really dislike getting attention and I used to shy away from the camera, but I don't really anymore because representation matters and I think it's really important for people to see that anybody can do this stuff. If I can do this stuff, you can do it. I'm in a really good position as far as being in Seattle in a city like Seattle that people are much more accepting to the idea of a woman of color doing butchery. I don't think I would get that kind of reception everywhere. The way that I like to do my butchery is starting with a piece of meat that you can identify as having been an animal. When you're working on pork, it's a pig that has its head and its feet still on it with the ears and the tail. Most recently, I was working at a restaurant called Bateau, a French-style steakhouse. We would only order um, whole sides of grass-finished beef from local farms. By and large, every quarters of beef I've worked on way more than me. One of the most common jokes I ever hear is like, whoa, that pig is bigger than you. Meat expresses terroir the same way that wine does. You can tell how the animal was raised. You can tell if it got to run around outside. Some people with really good palates can even tell what kind of grass, whether it was alfalfa or triticale. All of these nuances and variations come together in a piece of meat is a little bit more complicated and a little more nuanced than people kind of expect. And that's why it's really important to have a really good butcher that you can turn to help guide you the same way like a sommelier would help you pick out a nice wine to go with your pork chop. The people who live in the Northwest are kind of known for being outdoorsy because we have a really beautiful environment around us. We have all these mountains and streams. Seattleites care a lot about the environment and it goes kind of hand in hand with loving the outdoors and then also understanding the correlation of your buying and eating habits to the health of your environment. Seattle's food culture is a fantastic foundation for me to build upon because there are people who are interested in food, interested in farm-to-table cuisine, and excited about supporting local farms. So I'm able to build a business within the city of Seattle that visitors can come enjoy as well. I don't know if this would be the same in Southern California. I love that through Whole Animal Butchery, I am able to find farmers that I trust and who care for their animals the same way that I do and make sure that they live happy and healthy lives, farm in a sustainable way that I can feel comfortable for the future as far as making sure that our land isn't degraded and grow appropriate crops for this region. The meat then that is produced by a sustainable, humane system, it is the best meat and you get to feel good about where it came from. First taste. That's the skin on that. Mmm, so good. I love that Seattle, even though it's big, it still feels like a neighborhood. I love that there's a sense of community. Hopefully you'll come to Seattle tons of times because our food scene is really wonderful and hospitable and really provides a really easy avenue to delicious food that was grown just a stone's throw away.